The respect I have for um, Moniece in this episode and then bringing the mama into the mix. Great business deal. Great storyline because I love it. Because it's the typical black relationship. Single mama, don't have custody. The dad has the custody. He always has the child and then you got a mother who speaks highly of the spouse. But downgrades her daughter. And a bit a bit of me agrees with the mother. And then a bit of me, a, the other side of me is like, okay, you know the truth. Now support and help your daughter. So let's get into their storyline because it might be the only storyline other than Hazel's that I might, you know, just, you know, talk about. Because their storyline was so, I was like, bitch, y'all giving me real reality and I'm loving the aspect of what I'm liking. I'm liking that Fizz is stepping away from the appetizer, the I want to be the bad boy and coming back into being Drew. Okay? Being Fizz. Being a dad. Being a supportive baby father. You notice I did not say baby mama, baby dad because they are parents. And I don't believe really in that term even though it is what it is. But the intensity of tonight's episode brought everything out. Because th with the mama telling Rich, you know, you know, it is what it is. And it's not the way Drew has been putting it. I'm like, trick. We seen hand in hand of what Fizz said. And what he said was true because that storyline read hand in hand. Don't think just because we're on season two. And you're speaking to Rich and thinking that, oh, now the mother is speaking that we're just automatically going to believe your story. Because I don't believe him and her were fighting and arguing and your daughter is bipolar because you crazy as shit. And then all of a sudden the police run up. She goes ballistic. And they say, okay, she's the aggressor and give Fizz custody. No, she was unfit. She wasn't doing what she was supposed to do. She had not had a stable environment. So, of course, Fizz having money... Fizz being the father that he is, of course, they're going to grant him full or partial custody of whatever the situation was at, at the moment. And still, we're seeing that Fizz is the uh, father. We still on Instagram, they're going back and forth. Oh, I bought this. Oh, I did this. Oh, this, this, and this, that. Oh, the text messages and text messages that. We know what it is because I've seen hand in hand of how she's running behind Rich. And we barely seen any time with her with the uh, baby. But all of a sudden now, when the light is on you, and now we're calling you unfit, and we're calling you this and that, then all of a sudden, oh, I want to spend time with my um, son, and then Fizz didn't want to do this, so I'll call this moment Fizz. I mean, I know down deep inside my heart, and knowing Lil Fizz from B2K in that little situation and then seeing him now. He is not the type that's going to keep his child away from his mother because he is a soft boy. Okay? He's not going to keep the mother. He's not. He's going to do whatever in his power to make sure you get right. So we can at least co-parent and do what we got to do. Especially when he did not have that at first. But, um, yeah. Yeah, so seeing her, I'm like, girl, we're not believing that story, so you can save it, okay? We, we, we're not believing it. The, the viewers, we're not believing it. Um, so, now it's switched from, yeah, it, it is what it is, and my daughter's doing this, and my daughter's doing that, to now, Fizz is getting fed up because he's packing his 
son's bags, book bags, and Moniece is not there for three consecutive weekends. But you have time to do music. You have time to follow Rich. You have time to be in pools with April, who has a successful husband, who has and is in her baby's life. But we have not seen you and your child together. Okay. Now, bring it to the fact that now Fizz is fed up and he's meeting with the mom. And the mom's like, Fizz, I told you to do this over and over and over again. Show Moniz what the game is really about. Take full ownership, take full custody, and make that bitch pay. Did that bitch just say what she did? Did she just say what she just said? Bitch, you are the mother. The mother. The mother. You notice the mother. I'm my bitch. Like, I know y'all heard what I heard. And I'm like... Do my ears... Do my ears deceive me? Did she just do that? And when I tell you Fizz won't the fuck off, I'm like, where the Grammy, where the Emmy, where the Tony West at? Because Fizz gave me drama, theater, high school, musical, everything. And that was like, where this come from? Like, I ain't get this in B2K. I'm like, what's really? I mean, he went in. I mean, tears for everything. I mean, tears was coming from everywhere. I thought tears was finna get a rain on me like blessings. He was crying so hard. I mean, he he brought me into that moment. I'm like, this is real acting right here. Like, Mother Sky Young, you're really teaching these people how to act. And Fizz gave me encore. He gave me encore. I'm like, okay. But anyway. But I was here for that, and then the little moment, they had a little moment again when he came and like, you know what, fuck what you singing about, we got business. And he was like, you know what, I spoke with your mother, and she told me to take full custody, and she's like, you know, once again, you know, I, I, I would hate to believe my mother said it, but then, she said, it's my mother. And I would just hate the fact that Fizz and my mom are even Talking behind my back and trying to make plans with my son without the me, the mother, being there. And just the fact that Fizz and my mother are talking. I'm like, bitch. Uh, Fizz and your mama would not be talking if you were making the effort to be in your child's life. Like, who are we to blame here? Like, you are the mother. You keep pop talking about where I carried him and I... Popped him out with that cheap ass ponytail in the back of your head. But at the end of the day. Being a mother is more than caring for 9 to 10 months. Being a mother is more than labor. Being a mother is more than popping him out. Yakuchi. Being a mother is more than a six section. Being a mother is being there. Being more than a father is more than sperm. Being more than a father is more than penis. Being a father is more than sex. Being a father is... Being there. Are we forgetting the fact that. Being there. Defines. Parent. I mean. Are we forgetting that. But. It's Moniece. It's Drew. Okay. But I was here for the. I was here for the moment. I was here for the intensity of supporting and cry. No I cared. Okay, Drew, you don't care. I've always had this vibe in back. My mother don't care. I feel like nobody cares. I'm like, somebody been paying attention to Amon has got class of acting because, bitch, y'all are selling me theater right now. I'm like, Mona, whatever you sprinkling on these acts, <laughs> you doing it good because uh, I think they act better than uh, Living Hip Hop Atlanta. Can somebody please get Whitney Houston Goddard? That bitch got ADHD. I promise you there's a social security check 
in the name of Jesus with her name on it. Because that trick is every bit of crazy and she ain't got it all. I mean, like, her commentation just, just gives me just stop. I'm Whitney Houston, God, the, the late Whitney Houston. Bitch, where? Yeah, I'm a part of the phenomenon hip-hop group, the lyricists. And yes, I'm working with Incredible by Nick Cannon. And I get to work with my, my husband, the best producer, yes, in the industry. And I told you it was that. Bitch, you giving me ADHD, social security, and Whitney Hazel E. Now, I've been following this storyline that you just presented on tonight on Instagram, so I already was prepared and I already was ready for it. But, bitch, you made yourself look all the way dumb, bitch, in that confession with that damn tape, duct tape, and um, dollar store sponge, and everything, and gauze all up on your nose. I said, did this bitch really just get behind this camera on confessionals with this thing? I said, Hazel you already love laughing stock of loving hip hop franchise. And then it didn't help that we already think your incident was for you to get a new nose job. Because I'm still trying to grasp the fact that, because I did, I, I ain't gonna lie, I did when I I seen, it, I was like, okay, okay, I I want I, I want to believe her, I want to give her the benefit of the doubt. I did see her on a little road bike when she's in Dubai. But again, it's not us, bitch, but it's almost like, it's almost like, okay, bitch, you fell off a four-wheeler. I, I don't know if it was on the cliff, and bitch, only thing got damaged was your fucking nose. So we team save nose now. It's like, bitch, my nose is finna die. Like, Michael Jackson, my nose is finna fucking fall off. Like, bitch, we need emergency care right now. Call 911, get on the phone, call the emergency. 911, what is your emergency, bitch? My nose finna die. I need to get it fixed. I'm like, bitch, is me? Like, bitch, all that damn, all that damn damage, and you falling off a folded wheel, and you getting ready to turn, and the bitch fall off, fall, fell over on you. And, bitch, only thing I fucked up was your nose, and a little bit of scratch up under here, a scratch right there, and your nose black. Bitch, that was makeup. <sighs> bitch, that was Party City Zombie makeup that you was giving us we I, i'm i was trying to be here for it, but then again I, I i i i just couldn't grasp the fact that bitch there was all that got fucked up in an accident in the bitch like the fuck like i'm like i, I was on i was kind of here for it and then i was kind of not it was like uh, and then it was like okay mm, oh mm, no okay 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 I, I, no, it's like, and then the whole thing was like, bitch, no, you just say you got to know this job, or you're trying to put over the camera, okay? Let me see. But then it was like, it was just like, no, okay? It was just like, no. And then Milan, bitch. But bitch, did y'all catch the real shade? When I tell you I feel dead, I motherfucking laughing, because bitch, Nikki shaded the fuck out of her. So it's like, yeah, after T.I. was like, bitch, they always talk about us. I mean... He gay, she plastic, I'm fat, bitch. And then Maniki had the nerve to come out. Yeah, because they say I'm Michael Jackson's sister. I said, bitch. I said, <laughs> I, I like to scream. I said, bitch, you just shaded the fuck out of all of yourself. Because, bitch, that shit was funny. But, out of all tonight, tonight gave me, tonight gave me a lot. Tonight gave me, I, I really love tonight. And I'm just like. I loved it. Like, Mona Scott Young, you did your thing with this episode, and you knew what to put in this episode. You did your thing, and I'm loving it. So, like, comment, subscribe, follow me on all social media sites, and I will see you on the next video. And remember, my blog is back up and running, but my website is still under construction because I'm all about professionalism, and I'm not going to publish no anything. So, I'm doing more photo shoots. I'm getting more stuff done and getting it professional, getting professional content. So, when I'm... When I feel comfortable with publishing my new website, and my new website is www.preachboy.weebly.com. 
So once I get that published, we're gonna get there. But my blog is back up and running. I did post um I post a new blog about uh future and black trying to get this damn future tattoo. So yeah, check out my blog and that's at www dot elements of com backslash blog. That's my blog and then I have www.preachboy.com which is my website, which is all the content dealing with me will be on there from ministry to YouTube to Everything is on there. How to get in contact with me, my social media. I post my videos on there. So, everything. So, check out that information. Be able to support me. Continue to support me. I thank you for everything you've done for me. Thank you for watching my videos. Thank you for coming. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for liking. And just thank you for being you. Because without you being you, I can't be me. On YouTube. But anyway, until next time. Love. Peace. And all that other stuff that goes along with it. Laughter. Realness. And reality. Remember that and you'll go a long way. Hey, what's going on, y'all? You have arrived to the end of this video. Ha, ha, ha. And you thought I was going to end this video when I make sure you that you subscribe to this channel. Leave your thoughts down below. This is Jake Rudd of Preach Boy TV. Laughter. Realness. And reality. Don't choke. And I advise you, don't you know what while watching my videos. More content coming your way. Stay tuned.